What's up guys? If you're here, you're probably wondering what food you must try when you are in Hawaii. I have a short list of food pastries that you must try when you visit this lovely island. These are in no particular order and it's not a comprehensive list, but oh man, get ready because this will definitely satisfy your stomach. The meat is tender, meat. right? It's Loco, tender. Loco -moco. It's so meaty. <laughs> it's so hearty. It doesn't taste fatty. Only in Hawaii. This is the famous loco moco, which consists of white rice topped with a hamburger patty, a fried egg, and oozing with brown gravy. The patty itself was juicy, the rice soft and fluffy, and the egg fried to perfection. You can try this tasty dish at Auntie Pat's Cafe right outside Kualua Ranch. Oh, also try the patty milk. It was delicious. Oh yeah? Bacon pineapple? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, I can smell it. Better. That's chocolate filling or something. Yeah, there's chocolate, there's coconut, custard. Wow. All right, we're going to a, a place here in uh, Hawaii that's known for their malasadas. It's been around since 1952, so you know this place is legit. Um, yeah, we'll go we'll give it a try. We tried the one in the bakery. I forgot the name of that place. Pretty good, but we'll check this place out. Let you know just how they are, and maybe buy some more, a couple other desserts on the menu. But yeah, this is the place to be. It's called Leonard's, check it out. Malasadas, also called the Portuguese donut, is a Portuguese confection. Fried, coated with sugar and cinnamon, this sweet treat will satisfy anyone's sweet tooth. It comes with a variety of flavors, and some even have different fillings. Leonard's Bakery is the most popular one that sells these sweet delights. Come early to avoid the long lines. This is chocolate. This, this chocolate. is custard. This is chocolate. Custard. I'm getting chocolate. the chocolate. I'm getting the chocolate. Is that the same one I had yesterday? Yeah. No, this is the better one. This is the Which one's chocolate? most popular one from Hawaii. This one's chocolate. 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 Super gooey. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. More cheeses. What about the drink? It's Kaloa pork, huh? I'm going to drink it sa ano. Kaloa pork. Where the drink best it. tasting Kaloa pork is? Come to Kono's. There are several on the island. This one was located on the North Shore. Kalua pork is usually served in luau's. This dish is prepared by placing the pig in a sand pit and is smoked and roasted. Served with rice and salad, this is a perfect combo meal. Very good. Yeah, very uh, tender. Yeah. Mm. Right? The yeah. best roasted chicken in Hawaii. Huli Huli. I don't know. They should try a poyo, our poyo. Right by the beach. Our poyo. I know, right? This wow. is yeah, I don't know if you could compare to New Jersey, but this is not bad, I guess. Time for some of the best roasted chicken this side of Hawaii. Mike's Huli Huli Chicken. Let's go check it out. Maui Mike's Fire Roasted Chicken is well known for one thing, the Huli Huli Chicken. Did you know Huli Huli is the Hawaiian word for turn? They constantly turn the chicken so that it is cooked properly. They also use a sweet Huli Huli sauce to give it an amazing taste. Sorry, 
teriyaki and teriyaki. lava sauce. So this is their spicy sauce. Teriyaki and lava sauce. At least it's tender. Mm -hmm. nice. And mm. more. This is a good spot, but the wind. Kuya muna, because it has barbecue. Lava sauce time. <laughs> Yummy. I like that. That was good, though. Mm -hmm. It was cheap, too. What dollars? That was worth it. It's worth it? Combo. <laughs> oh. Mm. Try with the teriyaki sauce. So So this is shaved ice. I got the special Hawaiian edition and some mochi here. Looks pretty good. There's a long ass line for it all the time, so let's dig in. Matsumoto Shaved Ice, a local hotspot known to serve the ever so sweet and icy shaved ice. Always very popular and there is a long line, this icy concoction drizzled with rainbow bright syrups will keep you cool on a nice hot Hawaiian day. <laughs> These are masalanas. This one's poi. This is regular. <laughs> this is what we have in the bakery. Just try it. We have Kami Hami. Kami Hami Ha! That's Dragon Ball. Bakery. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. Looks good. First, the plain one. Like a donut, except it's round. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. This looks like ube, but it's actually poi, famous here in Hawaii. Purple lettuce. Mm. Let's try it. Poi flavor. If you don't know what poi is, I think it's like a plant. Look how purple that is, all right. Mm. This one is even sweeter than the, the plain one. I actually prefer this one. Nicely glazed on the outside. Definitely has a better, sweeter taste, if that makes sense. But anyway, you can't go wrong with um, masaladas. Donuts. Hawaiian donuts, as I would call them. Very good. Mm. So we got ube crinkle from ube. Ube tart. And we also have ube cheesecake. This is the fridge. This is ube, a small Filipino-run ube shop that sells everything that has to do with ube. Whether it's ice cream, cupcakes, crinkles, donuts, etc. You will find that this purple yam from the Philippines brings a ton of flavor and provides an extra coat of sweetness wherever it's applied. I mean, just look at all that. These are definitely Instagrammable. That's the 
ube soft serve. Look at the colors. Do you like it, guys? Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. um, super sweet ube swirl. Look at that. They love it. Kids love it. Check out that ube tart. Let's try it. Mm, the ube is very nice and soft, like cheesecake quality type. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, the ube definitely melts in your mouth. Tart, outside, not too sweet, perfect. Mm. Let's try this ube crinkle. Very soft. Look at the powder. This is sweeter than the tart. Mm, so good. So good. Recommend it. Make sure to try the Spam Musubi when you're in Hawaii. Spam Musubi consists of grilled Spam sandwiched in between or on top of a block of rice sandwiched by seaweed. We bought this one at 7-Eleven and it was oh so good. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this video. You didn't get to try the famous shrimp truck or some poke and many other food must tries, but you bet that we'll all be going back. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below. Hit the bell button if you haven't yet so you'll be notified of all our future videos. Like, comment, and share, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys!